Guys, so I want to do a quick update on the dynamic attributes assignment. This is going to be a live one take video. Um, and this is because there's a, a display bug that I have to show you um, with this object, the adder UI. So uh, before we get to that, just let me go through a couple of things. First of all, here's a panel object. Um, and if you go and you want to change the background color on this panel object and you make a new object and call it this adder UI, it says nothing, dot, 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 and you attach it, it still says nothing. And then when I click on this, I get a bunch of different options for attributes that I can select. So none of these say BG color. So if you're watching my other videos and you're saying what I'm looking for a background color, none of them say that. Um, that because this is a universal list that's not attached to um, a specific object, there are different attributes listed in this menu. It's extremely confusing. But if I click interior color, then I get BG fill color. So a better way to do this, you know, rather than what I just did, which was make a panel and then make an adder UI separately, a better way is to just make a panel or whatever object you want to control the attribute of, and then right click or command click, and then select one of the attributes that's listed here, which is directly related to this object. So here I'm going to click on background fill color and I have the exact same thing. Now the display bug that I wanted to show you, uh, which I thought would have been fixed in X8 and I can't get it to work, so I think it's still a bug, um, is that if I, oh, let's move me maybe, um, if I click on this attribute inspector, um, I should have multiple display modes. So if I go over to my inspector and I look under appearance and display mode, it says automatic. So it's guessing what I want it to be. Or I can change this to be a specific display. So for color, right, you might actually want just this actual color, um, which I can actually click on and then get. Uh, maybe you guys can't see this because it's not a window shared. It's RGB sliders. It's like a color window that I can slide back and forth. Um, but for our learning purposes, we've been looking at numbers, RGB and alpha values. So what we actually want to look at is multi-number float. So I'm going to come over to my display mode and I'm going to click on that. And when I click on that, I don't get multi-numbers. I just get one single number. And even if I take a message and I say, hey, I want a list of numbers, right? I want red to be full, maybe I want this to be red, right? So all red, zero green, zero blue, and then my alpha channel will be variable. Here's a replaceable argument. Even if I do something like this, and then let's change my alpha, right? It's still, it's not changing this display here, even though it tells me multi-number float. So, um, the last I checked, which was like a year ago, um, we had actually submitted this as a uh, concern to Cycling74, um, and it's not appearing to work. So maybe it's a bug. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know uh, if I am. If you know what I'm doing wrong, please write to me and let me know. Um, my workaround for this, and this does work, is if you right click on the attribute inspector, object and choose open adder UI help and again oh you guys won't be able to see this because it's not screen shared okay well it, your your help file will be the same as mine in here you have on the right an orange dial and you have an attribute inspector I'm going to copy it and it's in multi-number float mode I'm just going to copy what I see here and paste it into my pad so you can see it there's multi-number float. This is what it's supposed to look like. And if you copy it into your patch, then you, uh, you can use this with your dial. And can I connect this up? Uh, I don't know if I can do this. Let's delete that. Is it going to work? It still says multi-number float. Oh, it's not going to work. Yeah, okay. 
So if you're working with the dial, you can do it like that. Um, what else is in here? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to do it if for a panel, but you don't need the display mode to work correctly in order to get the colors to change correctly. All you really need is to send the appropriate list. So in this case, I can change the alpha. I could also change the colors with any four number list. So we'll do a pack, float, 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 float. And then I can send individual numbers. Oops, not an integer, float, 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 float. And hook these all up. Sorry, this is slow. And I can send this all to my background fill color. Oh, I'm gonna make this a POC, P-A-K instead of P-A-C-K, which means that any of these numbers will change my output. Well, sorry, any of the numbers will cause an output which will then change my background color. So I could change this to all red, fully transparent, fully untransparent, sorry, um, fully opaque, and add my green in here, fully green, fully blue, so now I've got all white. I could drag this down, and it'd be live changing. Okay, so sorry about that bug. I hope this helps, uh, especially for the assignment that we're working on right now, um, and good luck, everybody. Thanks for your hard work.